Here's another problem proposed by Katherine Kosak in one of her videos. How much should a healthy kitten weigh? And a healthy 10-week-old uh, domestic kitten should weigh in, on the average of 24.5 ounces with a standard deviation of 5.25 ounces. So this is not a standard normal distribution, but we're going to assume that the random variable has a distribution that is approximately normal. It's just not a standard normal distribution because the mean is not zero and the standard deviation is not one. So we might want to do some conversion to a standard normal di distribution so some of our calculations will be easier or we can just use information as it is. So this is looking more like uh, something that would be done in a written assignment. Uh, so let's prepare our written report. We'd copy the problem, make sure that that's included in our report, and then we'll specify what our answers are. In any of these problems, we want to state what the uh, random variable is. X is the weight of a healthy 10-week-old kitten. So we want to state the mean and the standard deviation using correct symbols. The population mean is mu is equal to 24.5 ounces. And the population standard deviation is sigma is equal to 5.25 ounces. Both of those pieces of information were just simply given in the problem. So now we need to do some calculations. What is the probability that a healthy 10-week-old kitten will weigh less than 14 ounces? A picture will be helpful and probably you'll just want to do this picture by hand, but here's the code that I'm using to plot this normal distribution. Notice that it's got a mean of uh, 24.5 and the standard deviation is 5.25, so they're around uh, 30 point, uh, so, so pretty close to, to 30 is where this uh, um, standard deviation, the first standard deviation ends up. Okay, and here I've added in the uh, additional code to uh, to show the area that we're looking at. We want to know the probability that the weight of the healthy kitten is less than 15. So it's going to be this little area down here. We can see that that's a pretty small probability. We know that R has a command called the p-norm function. Which the, this p-norm function takes a quantile, some x values, say 15, in a normal distribution that has a mean of mu and whatever the standard deviation is of that normal distribution and will give us the percentile <clears throat> or in other words the probability of us of something equal to 15 or less than 15. So <clears throat> unfortunately this calculation slides to the next page but so the the p norm of 15 in a normal distribution with a mean of 24.5 and a standard deviation of 5.25 will be about 3.5% uh, as calculated here. Now let's look at an alternative way of, of doing this calculation. So the alternative is to convert to z-scores and uh, use a standard normal distribution. So here's the alternative uh, calculation. We convert everything to z-scores and then calculate things with the standard normal distribution. So our population mean is 24.5. Our population standard deviation is the sigma, is 5.25. And so therefore the z-score for 15 is going to be 15 minus the mu divided by the sigma, and then we need to have the p-norm of that z-value. We don't need to put comma 0, comma 1 here because we're looking at a standard normal distribution, and you'll notice that we're getting the same result as we got before. Okay, this script 
or this script would be appropriate in your written report. Okay, that's it for this video.